four times a week tuesday thursday saturday and sunday i do mostly synthetic wig related content here we are multicultural we are inclusive so if you haven't subscribed please do so if you have you want my little doll baby's high doll baby 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 high doll why do i slow myself down i don't know Hi, doll baby. How are you? So happy that you are here. So in today's video, I wanted to do a little wig tips video. And these are things that I think that you need in a sort of make your own synthetic wig care kit. Basically the things that you should have to keep your wig looking good, staying good, being good. Okay. If that is something you're interested in, you found it, you should listen and watch. Okay. So these are in a particular order, but the first one is a wig shampoo. Now I do have videos on how I wash my wigs and I normally use Tide Free, which I do still think that is a really good wig shampoo, but I have been uh, testing out and trying out some synthetic wig shampoos specifically. Now synthetic wigs are fibers, so Tide Free is a really good option. But the wig shampoo that I have used the most often and have felt works fairly well is from the brand called Awesome. I do have reviews up on that, so you can go ahead and check that out. Along that same line, I do also think that you need some type of wig spray or wig conditioner. So either a wig conditioning spray. I also tested out one from Awesome, which I really like. I have another one that I'm testing out now. Um, so I can't give you my thoughts on it just yet, but I am testing out additional ones. I also use Downy or whatever when I am washing my wigs. And I think that either one is good. I just like the wig conditioning sprays like I'll, if i'm washing it i will still use the downy but i like the wig conditioning sprays for those ones um, that might need a little softening or you know they might need a little bit of help but you don't you're not ready to quite wash it yet i also think that it's important to have some type of wig stand especially if you're going to be wearing your wig regularly whether that is a foam wig head a plastic stand like a realistic wig model like i have any of those things i just think it's really important to keep your wig on a wig stand it keeps the shape um, it helps it air out in terms of you know so that it doesn't get any moisture or anything like that and it helps like so that it doesn't tangle if it's just like in the package or like sometimes when I just psh, throw it up, you know. I think that a wig cap is important if you can wear a wig cap, if you would like to wear a wig cap, if it's comfortable. Because it does sort of protect the wig from um, your hair and any sort of like friction and things like that. Along that same line is a wig grip. I think that a wig grip needs to be in a wig care kit for a few reasons. One, it helps your wigs to fit a little bit more, a little bit more, but a little bit better and more secure. So you don't necessarily have to use glues and things which can um, break down the lace. And just from you pulling it up and putting it down, uh, it can make your, you know, help stretch out your wig and make the fibers weak. Um, I also think a wig grip helps so that you're not sort of like constantly tugging and messing because you know, constantly tugging on that is going to start to weaken those fibers. I think a wig grip can help a lot in terms of, you know, taking care of your wig. Uh, dry shampoo, I think is a really good way to help keep care of your wig because dry shampoo not only takes down that shine, but it gives it a little bit of a grip and a barrier so that A, it, it can absorb any moisture. And also I think it helps it tangle less because it's not uh, the silkier fibers will get more friction and so like this one it gets more friction and then therefore it can tangle and break off a little bit easier and last but not least is a really good wig and brush comb that's either made for or good for wigs as opposed to like your bio type hair I have a few the one that I use the most and I will link a video where I talk about the tools that I use, but the ones I, the one I use the most is from Con Air. I also have that detangling brush. Um, I have a few of those still available in my Posh Market that I use as well. Um, and I use this wide tooth comb. You see me using that same yellow brush with a little hook. That's from Con Air. 
I love it. I feel like it doesn't pull in the fibers. It doesn't break the fibers off. So um, I really think that investing in a brush specifically that you use only on wigs and that is for uh, fibers or good on fibers, wig fibers, I think will help the longevity of your wig quite a lot. That is what I have for you on your own personal wig care kit that you should have. If there's things that you think I missed that should be added in there, go ahead and put that down below. If you like these types of videos, please let me know that down below as well and give me a little thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you have. Thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.